So, I just want to show a quick demo of using uh, generators. As you can see, I'm using the same promise file page, uh, page loader and file appender as in previous videos when we were talking about promises. Uh, they look the same, they return a promise. Uh, the thing that we do in this example is that we're using generators to easy up our code syntax. As you can see this this kind of code is pretty straightforward. It's look like we're doing some Kronos uh, programming uh, which looks mu much easier but uh, in the in the behind there are uh, asynchronous callbacks working to get the, the feature we want from the Node.js platform. Um, to easy things up in this uh, demo we are using a library called CO or something like that. That's, that is a um, library for, we can call it a generator based control flow library or package. Um, you can find it if you search for it. It's an open source package of course, so you find it on GitHub um, with examples that reminds of, of my example here. It's just a package that helps us build uh, and use promises and generators together. So it's a, this, this package can do a lot more but um, uh, for this example I'm just gonna show it to, to, to use it to write simpler code. Um, so going back you can see that I'm required this uh, package and, and use it and I'm uh, adding a function and the special thing about this is you see this you see this character uh, after the function uh, keyword uh, that that indicates that this is a generator uh, function. We also see that we use the word yield in some places. Uh, a generator function is a function that we can, the programmer can suspend. Uh, a regular function just do its stuff uh, from start to the end and then returns to the main thread. In this case we are using yield to suspend this uh, function and let a programmer or, or the, in this case the CO uh, package uh, tell us where to return and and resume this in this fu generator function, and that leads to that we can do a thing after another. We in this case we are using the page load fetch. It will return a promise, and we using yield. So we are freeing up the thread. We can do other stuff. In this case we don't do it. We just do it one thing after another. Uh, so we get the data. And when we come to this row, the data is in place, just like it, it looks just like a, a regular uh, function call. Uh, we do the next thing. This is uh, this don't require an uh, asynchronous programming. This get title thing, uh, but the append file does. The file appender is uh, returning a promises. We are using yield to suspend this function uh, while we're waiting. Uh, let the thread do other stuff um, and when we're ready uh, we will return and, and write uh, the next row and we continue to do our uh, our operation in this way and when we're ready we can just since we got our promise we can just use it then do whatever we want or we can catch uh, if we got some error on the way down so as you see this code is much more simpler to write. Uh, if you compare to the promise code, this is some more uh, complex code, a little bit harder to read. Uh, it's definitely better than the callback pattern, but uh, uh, this is probably the, the way we will do it. In, in future versions of ECMAScript there will be things called a sync and a wait that probably will uh, remind of this syntax a lot more but in the meanwhile we can use this workflow with uh, promise and 
generator functions. I just want to show this and of course we're going to run it um, uh, like this and you see it's do the whole thing but in the meanwhile if you had some other operation some request coming into the server or, or whatever we could do it in between all these tasks because this is asynchronous stuff so we 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 free the main main thread for for stuff to do so it was just an example to show this it's um, uh, it's a good thing to know about generators we don't demand that you use it in this course but uh, for those who want to check it out uh, feel free um, it will simplify your code probably a lot if you if you use it but um, you can also use promises as we showed in the previous videos and so this was the last video in this series um, to show different way how to handle asynchronous programming 